when would I choose each one? What does it look like while it's developing? And then we want to actually just show you if it's turning a weird color, trust the process. We're going to let it go and we're going to show you today exactly what we're uh, working on. So let's focus here. Uh, we spoke about our toner. So right now we've got several different swatches. We have the lightest swatches uh, that come from uh, the Amazon link that I'm sure everybody's seen. These are like the, the really, really light ones. Let's say this is like a level 10. And then we also have our deeper, um, let's say level like eight, nine swatches. So these are the ones that I think you've seen us always um, use on, in, or um, we use like on our Instagrams or Facebook, we get them from uh, Amazon. They're really easy, they're not very expensive. So if you like to do swatching yourself to kind of figure out what the undertones of a color are or whatever, absolutely get some swatches. Um, or if you wanna like save clients hair, I know it sounds creepy, um, but you can like save some hair and then you'll actually have like live human hair to work on. I don't know if these are human hair, they're yak hair, I think. Um, but either which way, they're gonna show us what we need to see. So here, we have the lightest uh, uh, swatch, and this is dry, and we're gonna be doing our Agora Vibrance 9.5-1. So that is pastel blue violet. Now the one toner that I think a lot of people are interested in seeing um, is our Blonde Me Ice Toner. So this is our Blonde Me Ice Toner. Again, remember, these toners are technically categorized as demi-permanent, but they sit pH neutral on the alkaline acidic um, pH scale. So we're going to show you what Blonde Me Ice looks like on wet hair that has not been pre-toned. We're gonna show you what Blonde Me Ice looks like on wet hair that has been pre-toned. Then we're gonna show you what Blonde Me Ice looks like on a level eight, nine swatch. It's a little too deep to really get like a nice end result, but people have done it, I've done it, you've done it. We wanna show you, yeah, you might get something, but it's not an ideal situation. So we wanna show you what the Blonde Me Ice toner looks like, not just on wet swatches, but on dry versions as well. So you'll be able to see what the ice toner in Blonde Me is gonna look like when you put it on at the bowl on damp hair or on dry hair. So we're gonna show that. And then last up, we wanna show you um, the difference between using Igora Royal 9.5-1 and then Igora Vibrance 9.5-1 and then our Blonde Me. So let's get these swatches started and we'll explain um, some things that you should look out for as you're toning. So we're gonna start off with our lightest swatch. We're going to be using this level 10 Amazon swatch. You can see here, we'll leave a little bit out at the top um, so that you can see exactly where we started from. But this is a dry light swatch, level 10. We're going to apply our Agora Vibrance, which is our demi-permanent, uh, sits on the alkaline side of the pH scale, 9.5-1, which is pastel blue violet. We've mixed up a little bit here. You can see we've mixed it with our gel activator. So we're getting a little bit of that kind of um, bottle consistency. So if you're somebody that likes to tone at the bowl, you could mix this up in a bottle and be able to get it all over the head right away. We've mixed it in a bowl here today because we're painting them on the table. Fun fact, here's like a little something to keep in mind. When you're using swatches, like triple saturate, I feel like a lot of people are putting swatches down and then painting. And then honestly, here's just like a little fun fact from us to you. Pick up that swatch and turn it over. Guaranteed you have not um, saturated the entire thing. I know it's weird, just do it. Um, so we're gonna saturate the back side of this swatch. And I like to turn my brush this way so that I can penetrate the individual hair strands. And then I'm gonna flip it back over, put it in the same spot, and I'm gonna reapply my vibrance to the ends. Now we're not just destroying the furniture at the Schwarzkopf Professional Headquarters. We actually have the table that's been laminated. Um, but if you'd like to think that this demo is taking the price of a table, we're gonna let you run with that too. So Agora Vibrance, 9.5-1, pastel blue violet. You can see here we left the top of the swatch raw, so you can see where we started from. Um, the scariest thing about neutralizing toners in a blue violet, violet, or even sometimes in a light pastel blue tone direction, 
When toners like that oxidize, sometimes they turn colors that are kind of weird. I'm going to show you what we're talking about exactly in just a second. Development time for Agora Vibrance, 5 to 20 minutes. We're going to give it the full 20, so if we can get a timer started for that. Before we do the blonde me, we're going to mix up a little bit of this Agora Royal 9.5-1. You can see it has the same consistency as a permanent color. I mix this with equal parts of my Agora Royal 10 volume, and the consistency is fairly thick. You can see it has like that kind of very like Greek yogurty consistency like you would expect from an Agora Royal permanent hair color. So when it comes to saturation, even more than a liquid color, you have to make sure that you're like digging into the swatch with a creamier hair color, just like you would on a regular head of hair. You wanna make sure that it's um, saturating all of your section or all of your swatch, whatever it is you're doing. So uh, um, like a, a hint from, from what I like to do is I will take my swatch and just kind of paint the back of it. And then I go over top, paint the top. And then I like to spread the hair out this way and make sure that I'm saturating. Why? Because if you flip it over, yeah, you can see here, it's, it, I need just a little bit more color here for saturation. And again, we're gonna leave the top part of this out so that you can see exactly where we started from. Now last up, We've got our Blonde Me Ice. This is the one that we've gotten like so much feedback on. Like, oh my God, it scares me. Why is it turning pink? It's supposed to be ice, blue, violet. I'll explain that in a minute. So in this bowl, we have our Blonde Me Ice toner and we have our Blonde Me 2% 7 volume uh, developer. When you mix this, you can see, like you've got the, the, the translucent color in the bowl. We're gonna mix this up. Now this is a blue violet toner. It is ice, Blondie ice toner. Um, and we are going to put this on our wet swatches and our dry swatches. So right off the bat, you can see the consistency is almost like in between. It's not quite that translucent jelly, but it's a little bit thinner and more spreadable, I think of a consistency than let's say like a permanent hair color toner. So we've got our Blondie ice. We're gonna put Blondie Ice on our damp strand that has no pre-toner. We're gonna do Blondie Ice on a damp strand of hair that has been pre-toned. And we pre-toned with our Fiber Clinics Vibrancy Purple Shampoo. Uh, we gave, gave the, the, the strands like a quick, uh, you know, shampoo with the violet shampoo at the bowl. Um, this one is damp to kind of mimic what pre-toned actual hair at the bowl would be like. And then we have a pre-toned dry. And then, as we said before, Blonde Me Ice is a little bit on the lighter side. It is ideal for level nine and 10, very inside of the banana pale yellow as a toner. It's gonna do the job there. But we wanna show you, what if I put Blonde Me Ice on hair that's blonde, but like not as light as it should be? You might still get something, but we wanna show you. And again, we're gonna do it on a damp level eight, nine swatch and on a dry. So we've mixed up our Blonde Me Ice. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same kind of approach. Gonna, this is my dry swatch that is really light. And because of the consistency of the Blonde Me Ice toner, I'm gonna get really good saturation, as you can see here on the swatch. Now, something to keep in mind, and you can see it happening already. This is our dry light swatch. Look at where we started. Now look at what that's turning. The color of that swatch is actually turning like a kind of a pink color. Um, if you're expecting violet or anti-yellow, that might freak you out. I mean, this is already turning a little bit rosy. So we wanna show you what Blondie Ice Toner looks like on damp hair, as you can see there, here, and then what it looks like on dry hair. So for a toner that's supposed to be, you know, my hair is a little bit of yellow, and now I'm putting this Blondie Ice Toner on it, and my client is sitting at the bowl, and I'm looking at this and I'm going, okay, did I pick the right toner? It's turning pink. Did I grab strawberry? No. Let's take a minute to explain what's happening. When you put 
a blue violet or any sort of violet toner on really light hair, think about what purple is. Purple is a combination of blue and red. And so when I have hair that is very, very light and there's really not a lot of yellow for that blue to couple with, the blue kind of goes in and dissipates. Then I have the red pigments that are in that violet mixture. Think about this. What happens to red when you make it really light? It goes pink. So that's what we're physically seeing here when we put Blondie Ice on these really light swatches. I'm getting to see the red undertones that make up the purple. But trust the process. Promise. Trust the process. You're seeing this go a little wonky right now, but before your eyes, we're going to show you exactly what's happening. So we're going to continue um, with our Blondie Ice Toner on our pre-dried, or I'm sorry, our pre-toned dried strand. And you can see right off the bat, look at this, immediately right away. I'm not getting as much of that pink. Why? Because I pre-toned it with a violet shampoo. So I've already got a blue-violet kind of icy base eating up some of that yellow so that when I put ice on it, yeah, I'm still going to get that pinkish effect, but it's not going to be as dramatic. And the same idea for that toner swatch on damp pre-toned hair. All right, so I've got my damp pre-toned swatch. Again, yeah, I'm getting some of that pinky vibe. It's not quite as much as on the un-pre-toned or the regular swatches. And then I'm going to put this Blonde Me Ice on our slightly deeper blonde swatches, basically to show that Blonde Me Ice is really gonna be best for when I'm kind of dealing with lighter yellows. Doesn't mean it's not gonna do anything. The color wheel is still at play here. Violet will always cancel out warmth. I just want to try and match the level of warmth that I'm dealing with. So we did blonde me ice on a slightly deeper blonde just to show that, yeah, it probably will do something, but it's not the most ideal situation. Then of course, our, our level eight or nine damp swatch. You can see here that our level 8-9 swatch that's damp, we had to like work through it a little bit to make sure that we get really nice saturation with our Blondie Ice. The whole reason for this video is I've rinsed my foils, I've rinsed my balayage, I've rinsed my all over bleach and tone. I've done a lot of work to get that hair blonde and now I'm going to use something that's going to neutralize it and make it kind of like an icy platinum. Look at these swatches. If I saw this at the bowl, mind you, it's been, I think, five, six minutes since these have been on. If you remember, they started off pretty pinkish. Now again, this is our Blondie Ice Toner. Ice is a combination of blue and red, which makes violet. And at a pastel level, I am getting the most pastel lightest versions of those colors. So it makes sense that this toner would turn a little bit pinkish at first as it's, being, uh, as it's developing on these individual hair strands. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna let these develop for their appropriate time. We're gonna give them a rinse and then we're going to lay them out dry so that you can see what Agora Vibrance 9.5-1, Agora Royal 9.5-1, and then basically in the same neighborhood, our Blonde Me Ice Toner, all three of them kind of serve the same purpose for that really light level 910 neutralization. Um, but you'll get to see what we've come up with as we develop. And voila, here are all of the swatches with the toners on. We're just about to rinse them. And we wanted to show you, sometimes when you're toning blondes, it can be intimidating, it can be scary. It could also just be unpredictable. And rightly so, we understand it's taking you a lot of time to apply that bleach and tone, to, to hand paint that balayage, to put in those 200 foils. Committing to a toner is, is it's a lot, it, it takes a lot. So we wanted to show you that occasionally when you're choosing neutralizing or blue-violet-violet violet toners at that lighter level, that occasionally, depending on what category you're choosing, 
they can look a little scary. At the, looking at the table here, I mean, we said that all of these toners were roughly in the same neighborhood of being lighter and blue violet. So Agora Vibrance over here on this very light swatch, to me that looks like a weird gray. That would freak me out if I saw that hair wet. Um, look at our Blonde Me Ice Toners. These are the damp swatches and these are the dry swatches. No toner, pre-toner, and then something a little bit darker that we shouldn't apply ice to, but let's see if it worked. And you can see um, on the dry toner, the, the pinky purple color is a little bit more dramatic. Um, and so this might scare me. What would happen if I let these sit for five minutes and then I just rinsed them off way before their time? I'll give you a second to guess. You wanna put this in the comments actually, what you think would happen if I rinsed these after five minutes and I saw all this purple craziness. Go ahead, put it in the comments below. The answer? Nothing. Um, if I put a toner on and I see it start to change and I rinse it off right away, it might be too soon. Here's what's happening when that happens. Think of pigments kind of like flat balloons. When I blow up a balloon and it goes from small to bigger to bigger, it doesn't actually look like the color it's supposed to look like until it's the size that it's supposed to be. Hair color pigments are the same. Think of them as little flat balloons. When I add oxygen to them, they develop or they activate. But sometimes along that journey of developing, as they're expanding and growing to the size that they're supposed to be, they can occasionally look a little off or a little scary. And then last up, we have our Agora Royal 9.5-1, which is again, our pastel blue violet. And as we said, these are all roughly in the same neighborhood. They all have a very different in the process kind of an effect. Um, none of these are like, oh wow, that's gonna be a pretty blonde. But here's something I, I will say, and I think most of us can agree. Wet blonde hair just kind of sucks to look at. It's scary, it's unpredictable. Something that looks crazy dark, like a level seven while it's wet, could blow out to be the most beautiful white you've ever seen. So there is an element of trust the toner, but also trust your eye. And that's what we're hoping to develop today. We're gonna show you what our Agora Vibrance and our Agora Royal toners look like on damp hair. So I have rinsed my foils, I've rinsed my balayage, I do my Agora Vibrance 9.5-1, I put it on, I let it sit the 20 minutes, and this is what it looks like damp. So as you can see on the swatch, there is the first part that we um, left, and this is the original swatch, and this is how much deposit we got from 9.5-1, Agora Vibrance, on here, and this is still kind of damp. We'll dry it for you and see how much it lightens up. If you are new to toning, if you're new to toning blondes, watch this video. This is sometimes a little scary to look at. So we've got our <clears throat> Agora Vibrance. Now, these middle ones is where we did our Blondie Ice Toner. It was our Blondie Ice Toner mixed one-to-one -one with our Blondie 7 Volume Developer. Here is the, the swatch that we did that was not pre-toned and it's still damp. So when you look at hair like this, and again, I would like to also call out, remember when we talked about saturation? This swatch does look, um, we'll say a little marbled, <laughs> but you wanna make sure that you're like really getting the brush in there um, so that you get like an even accurate representation of what you're looking for. But here on the table, let's, let's look at this. This is a side-by-side -side of what the Blonde Me Ice Toner looks like on untoned, raw, lifted blonde hair, dry and damp. So you can see the, 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 the difference, and I'll hold it up for you so you can see as well. So the difference, look at how light and airy. Like I said, when you take blonde toned hair and you expand it, it just gets lighter and lighter. The more compact you make it, the darker it looks. And so when it's wet, now I remind you, these are the exact same strand. This is just the blondy ice dry, and here is what it looks like wet. So our Blondie Toner and Ice Dry 
and our Blondie toner on a swatch that has not been pre-toned and what it looks like wet. So if you're not used to looking at wet, toned, blonde hair, it can be misleading and it can make you think it's too dark. Um, maybe you see this at the shampoo bowl and you're like, oh, maybe I do like a quick bleach wash. Before you, before you start color correcting, give the hair a quick dry and see that you might get something altogether very different. Now we did a pre-toned version of the Blondie Ice. Here it is damp and here it is dry. So this is pre-toned. And again, these are the blonde swatches, the lightest ones we pre-toned with our Fiber Clinics Vibrancy Purple Shampoo. If my client said, I want to be a nice, bright, like frozen-y, icy, translucent blonde, and I saw this, I might be a little nervous. But when I take that pre-toned Blonde Me Ice Toner and you spread it apart, you can easily see that the end result I get is much lighter and airier than the pre-toned version here that is still damp. So you can see what you'll get with the Blondie Ice Toner on dry hair, and you can see what it will look like on damp hair. Now this is on the lighter end of the swatches. We did want to show you what Blondie Ice, which is really ideal for levels 9 and 10, what if I used it on like a level 8, 9? So here is that exact same toner on that level 8, 9 swatch. This is Blondie Ice. I mean, it looks way different. And here's what Blondie Ice looks like on a level 8, 9 swatch. You get neutralization still, but it's a little less obvious because there is more yellow in that hair. What we're trying to get to here is if I use a toner that's too light for the color that I'm trying to tone, it's still going to do something. It just not, might not be what you're looking for. So again, wet blonde hair, spread it apart, take a look. You get this most beautiful beige color um, when you use our ice toner from Blondie on darker hair. Now let's see the Agora Vibrance and the Agora Royal swatches dry. We have our Agora Vibrance 9.5-1 or 9.5-1 Pastel Blue Violet and our Agora Royal 9.5-1 Pastel Blue Violet. We also, if you remember, did our Blondie Ice Toner. We had mentioned that these three are in the same ballpark, so I want to hold them up just so you can see. We've got temporary, semi, demi, and permanent neutralizing violet, blue violet toners to essentially get rid of yellow. So here we'll have our three swatches. This is our Agora Royal. Now another thing to, to mention, when blonde hair is kind of clumped together, this is our Agora Vibrance one, for example, when it's clumped together, it looks really dark. And then the second I let go of it, you can see that it looks like it lightened up. And then when I kind of spread it out or when you blow dry, it's going to look lighter. So the, the, the note here, veteran hairdresser or two days in, wet blonde hair will trick you every time. Because now imagine if these were wet, it's going to look gray and like level seven or eight in the bowl. But I promise when it's dry, it's going to be at least two or three levels lighter. So you can see each one of the three of these is a really great option for neutralizing any excess pale or leftover yellow in the hair. I would choose Agora Vibrance if I had uh, more of like a, a really pale kind of pastel yellow, just like this swatch. Why? Because here's what it would look like after 20 minutes development time on that really light swatch hair. It's a beautiful kind of translucent, neutral light fluorescent blonde. <laughs> uh, then we have our Blondie Ice Toner, and this one has a little bit more of like that purple tone direction, but again, once you kind of spread this out, you see that it's just as equally light in its yellow neutralizing capabilities. And then last up would be our Igor Royal 9.5-1 or 9.5-1, and between a demi or a permanent, if you remember our football play-by-play -play chart, Demi-permanent toners are going to sit right at the cuticle layer just on the cortex, 
and permanent are going to go inside of the hair and cut or couple with the leftover yellow versus just masking it. So you can see we've got a beautiful selection of blonde pastel toners for pretty much any blonde that you could have coming into your chair. Hope that this was helpful. Uh, check out some of our other videos on YouTube to learn more about toning, uh, pre-toning, neutralizing, and even our numbering system if you're trying to get more familiar with the Schwarzkopf Professional Portfolio.